All right, today we're going to talk about the metric system. And so first of all, the units of measurement that we're going to be looking at are mass, which is measured in the unit of grams, and volume in liters, length in meters, time in seconds, temperature we measure in Kelvin or degrees Celsius, and energy we measure using joules. Our main focus today is going to be on converting, and so there are only really five conversions that you need to learn. Um, the first one is kilograms, and there's point zero zero one kilograms, and that comes in the prefix kilo. Now, of course, these grams we can interchange with any of the base units over here. All right, centigrams. Centi means a hundred. This is a hundred centigrams in one gram. Milli means 1,000, and so there's a 1,000 milligrams in 1 gram. This funky unit here is called the mu, and it stands for micro, and it's 1 times 10 to the 6. So there's 1 times 10 to the 6 micrograms in every gram. And then the final one is nano, and that's 1 times 10 to the 9th. Many of you probably have learned multiple methods on how to convert. Today we're going to learn a method called factor label method. And then doing the factor label method we look at our units and we always follow our units. So we always start with what we're given. So we're given 54 grams. We want to convert then to centigrams. So the unit we no longer want we need to get it to cancel out. In a math class just to get things to cancel out you divide by them, right? So if you want grams to cancel, you need to put grams on the bottom. We want centigrams, so we're going to put that on the top. And when we just talked about how centi means 100, there's 100 centigrams for every 1 gram. So our gram units cancel. We're left with centigrams. And so this is just going to tell us what math operation we're going to do. And since the two numbers are on the top, we're going to multiply them. So multiply 54 times 100 and we get 5400 centigrams. Alright, the next problem we have 6.23 times 10 to the fifth, that should be to the fifth power, All right, microliters, and we want to know how many liters. And so again we start with what we're given, 6.23 times 10 to the fifth microliters Again, the unit that we no longer want, we put at the bottom so it'll cancel. The unit we do want on the top. And we just learned that micro was 1 times 10 to the 6. And so we put 1 times 10 to the 6 with the micro, and that's equal to 1 liter. And so our microliter unit cancels out. Again, we multiply things on the top and divide by the things on the bottom. So when we divide by the bottom, if you remember your exponent rules, right? 5 minus 6, since we're dividing, would be 6.23 times 10 to the minus 1 liters. Or you could write that with not in scientific notation. It would be 0.623. The next problem, we have 0.75 kilometers. We want to know how many nanometers. This problem is a little bit different because we're not going to or starting from the base unit. And so this is going to require two steps. The first step, we'll go to the base unit. So if we have kilometers on the top. We want it to cancel, so we'd put kilometers on the bottom. And so our base unit then would be meters. And we know how those are equal. We learned earlier that 0 0.001 kilometers is equal to 1 meter. So kilometers on the bottom and on the top would cancel. But what leaves us with meters? We really want nanometers. And so now our meters need to go on the bottom and our nanometers on the top. Okay, we learned today that nano means 1 times 10 to the ninth. So we have 1 times 10 to the ninth nanometers for every 1 meter. Our meters on the bottom and the top would cancel. 
So in this case, we multiply across the top and divide by what's on the bottom. To use our calculators, we would type in 0.75 times oops, 0.75 times 1 e that e e button if you have a graphing calculator is also on there that's um, the second function comma button on a graphing calculator 9 for the exponent and then we're going to divide by 0 0.001 because it was on the bottom and divide by 0 0.001 and here we get 7.5 times 10 to the 11. And that would be nanometers. Alright, so next I want you to try the problems on your own. Okay. And we'll go over those together when we meet next.